This is exactly what makes goats a perfect tool for any type of riparian work or work that is very inaccessible to hand crews as you notice here to get any type of crew. You couldn't come in here and spray with any piece of equipment based on all the down trees but as you can see there's plenty of spurge. Cass, that'll do. Cass, that'll do. There's plenty of forage and plenty of spurge in this area and in order to get a hand crew in here uh, to even spray is going to be a lot of man hours and um, a lot of work. You can see the goats have no problem getting through areas like this. In fact, they kind of thrive in areas like this. For low lane, high density tree areas, uh, they're, they're a pretty unique tool and are able to eat anywhere that they can uh, get their feet. The goal is going to be <clears throat> to get the herd of goats to just stop and lock right on this really, really yellow flowering patch of spurge. Hopefully we can get them to just recognize it, see it by sight, and walk straight over to it. Um, there's a lot of cheat grass before it, but we'll see if this herd wants to lock on to some yellow today. Uh, that's always the goal of every day. but. This herd seems to be pretty, pretty move, pretty active. Oh, you can see they're starting to stop now that they recognize. Now that they're right next to it, they're really starting. To, hey, Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. Hopefully they won't head up the hill and then they'll just decide to meander all the way through here or anywhere backward. This is not more than 15 seconds later and it, you can see that they've obviously decided to walk straight up the hill. Come by Cass, come by, come by, look, 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 come by, come by, come by, come by, come by. Come by, come by. Easy. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, come by. One more time. Come by, come by. Shh. Easy, easy. Cass. Good girl. Okay, come by. One more time. Come by. Easy. Hopefully they'll decide to lock into this yellow that's right in front of them and not walk through it. We'll just go ahead and leave the camera on and see what they do. But they obviously wanted to walk up to whatever bunch grass. Cassie, that'll do. Cass, easy. Whatever bunch grasses are up on this hillside, they were content to walk to. So once again, this group seems to. want to walk through a lot of spurge. Hopefully they'll decide to stay in here because this is where all the yellow is. Setting the goats in a day pen for the day just up Davis Draw and uh, trying to get them to feed on a lot of spurge that They've been through a couple times already, but just haven't been able to knock the yellow off. And uh, they'll have a chance to get everything down to the ground today that is green. It's May 28th, and we will be putting the goats in another uh, electrified day pen to knock off all this yellow that's still here. Um, they've run through this area a couple times and just can't seem to get the flowering heads off. So you can see beyond this pen, the dark area just along this hillside is the pin that we worked yesterday, May 27th, so um, it's definitely enough feed for the day and based on the after pictures on yesterday's plot, they uh, they 
had plenty more to eat in there still, but all the green of Spurge was gone, which was the goal. Okay, come by. Easy, easy, that'll do! Good girl! All right! Good girl! Goats are moving into their day pen for the day and they should be busy on this Spurge for at least the next seven hours, which will be plenty of time for them to get the yellow off and hopefully all the green. It's May 29th, but this is a picture of what the temporary day pen now looks like. Um, you can see around this big bush right here where the Spurge is uh, not touched at all. They did a pretty good job. They were in there for about eight hours and had a chance to get it down to what I like to see, which is all the green is gone and there was a lot of cheat grass that you can see at the perimeter here. Uh, they didn't get to the previous year's spurge stalks, but would have if given more time in there. It is the 1st of June and we will be using the electrified day pin for part of the day while the night pin is moved. And just to show the difference between what a grazing area can have in terms of the effect on the biomass of the spurge, this is an area that they've walked through oh, at least three or four, maybe even five times and not really gotten all the yellow off. But over here you can obviously see that where the fence project was or uh, is just dramatically different. And it didn't destroy all of the grasses. Uh, there was a large cheatgrass section that was worked on pretty effectively. Uh, they at least have prevented the seed head from popping out this year. It's really cool to see now near the end of the project how everybody is kind of knowing what their job is and giving everybody respectful distance and all going home as a group and not fighting or everybody's full so everybody's happy to kind of go in the direction of home it's just uh, good to get to this point who knows what it'll be like tomorrow but uh, today and right now it seems to be all going really well everybody's full as you can see how wide everybody is